Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, I'm just going to show you a really small and really fast XOR game. So, it's one, two, three, four blocks long, and one, two, three, four, five blocks tall. And as you see, it's two wide tileable, since I have four of them right next to each other. And all the logic in it is two ticks. So, if I flip this, the output comes on in two ticks. Flip this. Output turns off in two ticks. If I flip this, it turns back on. And I flip this, it turns back on. It's two ticks, two wide tileable, and two by four by five in size. Now this isn't new. We've already had two by four by five XORs in the past, and even two by four by four XORs. The thing that makes this special is it doesn't use any glowstone or half slab logic. So this means you can build this on Xbox. Now, am I going to be using this over the other 2x4x5 design? Probably not. But hey, this way people on Xbox have a nice small design too. Okay, so to build this, first off, I'm going to start off with one of my inputs. And I'm going to build an imply skate. Now I'm going to put a repeater here. It doesn't do anything except prevent backflow. And the reason for that is I'm going to put a torch here. So, as you can see, this is essentially exactly like an AND gate, except instead of inverting one of my inputs, I'm just using a repeater. That's because this is an implies gate. So, now these are my two inputs, and if I put a block right here, this is my first output. So right now, I believe this will turn on if this is on, this will turn off if this is off, and the only case it doesn't turn on is when this is on, and that's what the rest of the logic is for. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another implies gate. So I'm going to bring power over here. I'm going to put a block to block that off. And there we go. Now this is going to be the repeater for the implies gate. It's going to put a block right here, and that repeater will stop it from interfering. So there. Now there's the input. There's the inversion. And right here is the output. So now if I flip the lever, that by itself turns on, that turns off, on, off. And that's because I've created a second imply gate right here. Again, if you look at the logic, there's the torch, there's the other quote-unquote torch, which is just a repeater in this case, and there's the other torch. So it's just like an AND gate, except one of the inputs is a repeater instead of a torch. And that's really all there is to it. It's nice, small, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two wide tileable, two tick XOR gate. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and see you next time.